Hong Kong as a leading world city reflects China's international image and soft power. The overseas countries, the West, is always saying that China is taking back Hong Kong, and this is the end of Hong Kong. But that's not correct. Hong Kong 回归祖国二十五年，一国两制行之有效，港区国安法带嚟社会稳定，但部分美西方反华政客持续借香港抹黑中央。究竟回归后嘅香港真实面貌系如何呢？喺紫荆文化集团主办嘅紫荆文化国际论坛上，美国富恩基金会主席、中国改革友谊奖章获得者罗伯特富恩指，中央以为香港谋求最佳利益，但前提系不能越过三条红线。Writing in 2019 at the height of the protests, I repeatedly said that China's central government seeks the best for Hong Kong. Beijing will defer to the local Hong Kong government as much as possible and as long as possible. I said at the time, thus sustaining the one country, two systems policy. But there are three red lines. I said at the time that cannot be crossed. One. Movement toward Hong Kong independence or even quasi-independence. Two. Using Hong Kong to try to undermine the mainland's party-led political system, and three, unending chaos such that Hong Kong's economic viability would be threatened. 对于部分西方媒体及反华人士又指，港区国安法引致走资，国际公司放弃香港市场。罗伯特富恩及喺香港经商多年嘅盛志文又点睇咧？ The Greater Bay Area GDP is more than 1.7 trillion dollars, about 12 percent of China's total GDP, and it is projected to reach around 3.5 trillion dollars by 2030. If the Greater Bay Area were a country, an independent country, its GDP would rank almost in the world's top ten. And here, Hong Kong energizes regional integration. Out of 200 countries around the world. 120 countries have a security law. Why can't we have a security law? Many of my foreign friends regained their confidence and trust in the city with the return of peace and order. China needs Hong Kong as an international financial center, not just another Chinese city. Thus, there is no way China won't help strengthen and uphold one country, two systems in Hong Kong. The stronger China is, the more opportunities. Hong Kong can enjoy. I've been here for 50 years, and I wouldn't live anywhere else in the world. Hong Kong is the best place. 出席同一场合嘅瑞安集团董事长罗康瑞就点出，随住社会转趋稳定，香港首要思考嘅题目。We need to consider carefully and expeditiously how we can lift the COVID quarantine restrictions as soon as possible, as this has already affected Hong Kong's role. As an international business finance center, of course, at the same time, we have to find a way to comply with the mainland's requirement of zero COVID policy. If we can achieve this, it is making good use of the one country, two systems for Hong Kong. We may even become a pioneer for China in creating an arrangement that could protect the health of the population and open up. To the visitors at the same time.